tend to start from uh, going way back in December when I talked about uh, Optimistic Provide, uh, which is addressing uh, a problem that there is in uh, IPFS that the, the DHT provide process is very slow. So you can see here the delay that it take uh, the uh, the latency that we have that we see when we try to provide something. So simplistically, this means when we someone wants to publish something to the DHT, uh, this takes quite a long time because we need to find the right peers, the peers that are going to be more, most easily uh, findable later on. Uh, so what we also find out, found out through some measurements is that, okay, it takes so long to go and find the appropriate peers and uh, finalize the process. But at the same time, we figured out that actually, if you go back and check uh, after all this time, the 10 or 50 or 100 seconds that it took, um, you know, to find those 20, which is the right number, uh, peers that the provider record should go to, we actually have found those within the first second. Uh, and then the process was just hanging and trying to find even, uh, even closer peers. So, um, yeah, and this is uh, the figure that shows that it's mostly less than 0 0.5 seconds. Uh, but it could go up to a second or uh, a second or two. So we thought, okay, th there must be a way to try and find those peers uh, and finalize the process much faster. Uh, so that's why it's called uh, the well. Some of the proposed solutions are called optimistic provide, and there were two approaches that were proposed. One is called uh, the estimator based approach, and I'm not going to go into that today. The other one was the double query approach. Um, so what we do there is that uh, instead of going and finding, um, you know, asking around which is the closest peer to the one that I want to, uh, to find according to the CID of the content I want to publish in the network um, and trying to get, get as, close, as close as possible, um, let's try to uh, ask two guys at the same time. Uh, and uh, that was actually Petar's idea, and the thinking behind that, behind that was that you know when we independently ask two completely relevant peers, um, you know what is the closer peer that you know of for the CID, when we start getting common answers from peers that are. Uh, coming back to us, then we'll probably have, you know, uh, the, the com those nodes that are common between both queries are probably uh, the ones that are getting, that are the closest ones because, you know, we are converging to that hash space. So we went on and uh, the update here is that we implemented that and we have some very initial results which I wanted to share with you today. And it seems that unfortunately, the results are not very accurate. So it's not necessarily a positive result that I'm um, presenting here today. It's just a progress update and what we plan to do next. So if you go and check what happens when you go and ask peers uh, one by one, like the single query approach, you see that you go um, in this graph, the x-axis is the uh, normalized XOR distance, which very simplistically means what is the distance between where I want to reach and um, what I have actually, uh, which peers I, I have actually found to store the record. Uh, and this obviously is very small, is like 0.01%. So it means that this process is very, very slow, but very efficient at the same time, uh, because it goes as close as possible. Now, going and checking the double query approach, we see that uh, it's not bringing very accurate results. Uh, so that 0 0.0 something, 0 0.02 that we've, we're seeing with a single query approach, now it can go up to uh, 10 and 20 and 30 percent. So it's um, it, it's still, uh, it's completing faster, and we can see that more than 60% of peers um, are finding indeed, you know, uh, those final peers very quickly, but this does not, um, this does not continue for the entire um, process for all of the uh, provide operations that we have tested with. So what does this lead us to think? Uh, it leads us to think that um, we need to perhaps play around with this uh, and have 
perhaps not two queries, but maybe even do three queries and try to see what is the intersection of answers that we're getting and if you know um, if we can converge faster when three um, separate queries bring us back the correct results. Uh, it means that we need to um, also investigate other approaches such as the estimator approach that, um, yeah, I didn't talk about it today, but I'm going to talk about it in a future uh, session. Um, yeah, and also ideas that you might have. So if you know, uh, if you can think of something that, you know, uh, an estimation approach, which is going to give back results much uh, faster, uh, we're more than happy to uh, receive feedback and more ideas you can find here. Uh, I can share those slides. Uh, uh, there is a proposal, the discussion, uh, and the project page where we post updates and everything. So yeah, um, that's me. Thank you very much. And yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, Yanis, your screen was frozen the entire time, so we didn't see the graphs. Could you- oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, you should have said. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, people said in the chat, but I guess like nobody wanted to interrupt. Uh, you. Could, could you send? Okay. Um, could you send? Yeah, the links to the graphs, and um, oh, and links to the. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's fine. And, uh, yeah. and and the implementation links, just so we can look at the methodology. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Um, where is the place, the best place to send that nowadays? Um, well, I mean, you can put it in the chat, I guess. But, but perhaps, um, uh, yeah. Uh, IP Stewards Discord also. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'll post it there. I'll post it there.